The sun sweats blood over the Congo, Rwanda, Sudan. Fresh femur bones jut from blood soaked dirt as mothers search the earth for limbs of missing loved ones. The entire country has been made homeless. The old warlords waging war over invisible white lines while children too weak to keep their heads up over the horizon sink in an ocean of sand. Their souls secretly preparing for a return trip to God. And if you listen, you can hear the muffled roar of 400,000 miles whispering final prayers in Darfur. 3.8 million men, women, and children leave their beautiful bodies to bloat for National Geographic cameras that snap with our photos but offer no food. I can hear you, Africa. The stinging and singing of 800,000 souls left to rot and mass shallow graves behind Hotel Rwanda. The lion in their bones no longer hunts the good word. We watch untold horrors filled with electronic sadness of Fox and CNN and movie cameras that quickly turn the channel. You see, no one loves the unfortunate. They are pitied, pronounced not my problem, leaving a nation of orphans to raise themselves in a garden of bombed out buildings and burning parakeets. Mesopotamia set ablaze by children, soldiers, all down with shoulder holsters, stalking oh. the planes, playing one killer game of a free sex. Not it! FEMA airstrips are decorated with half sized body bags, wow. fresh carcass, wow. in the killing fields where blood. Wow. Of skulls sent blasted by the winds of change, the sky is always falling down here. And mortar rains have reshaped the landscape, producing an atmosphere heavy in blood and molestation while we strap on red, white, and blue blinders. Say the course that could dig themselves out or dig deep enough to find oil. Only then will we come to their aid. Spread paid freedom or the torn highlands of the rape young, the sun, such blood of the Congo, Rwanda, Sudan. Thick drops that mix with the salt in the earth, so now nothing ever grows. Mm. The killing fields, well, they remain. Yeah. All right, Howard.